did you write the book specifically for teachers? No. Um, you know, I'll, I'll tell a story of myself. I wrote one book that I threw out. <laughs> you know, so fortunately, <laughs> nobody has to read that. Um, because my first instinct was just to write about, first I went here, then I went there, then I went there, you know. And it, it just was a mum. I mean, it, I didn't even want to read it when I got done. So I didn't think anybody else would. Um, and so I put it to the side for a while. And then I said, what, what would be a different way to present this? And I came up with this idea of picking generally one example per state, but thoughtful, I, I hope thoughtfully, but pick to, to sort of organize into certain coherent clusters, you know, so K through 12, college, uh, some bad policy, some good policy, some role of the parents, or the 10 chapters. And so that's the book I wrote. And, uh, I, you know, it was really as I wrote it that it sort of came to life and I did, and, you know, I think teachers have, I, I always say that when teachers read it, I don't think they're reading it and saying, I would have never thought of that, just as with the film. You know, teachers don't watch the film and say, oh my gosh, I had never thought of teaching collaboratively and letting kids work on problems they really right. care about. I mean, they know that that's, that's why they entered the profession. I think the thing that's unusual, right, is that somebody with a business background actually came to that conclusion. And so in some ways I feel like to use, I've never played football, that's probably apparent, but to use a football <laughs> metaphor, I, I feel like I'm kind of like a blocking back trying to clear out, you know, give running lanes to the teachers to do their very best work in the classrooms. And so that's what I try to do.